Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. It's good gang, Teddy Gray back on some stuff. Hi, today, Millie Sudpang. Um, now I haven't actually checked out Millie since the Jackson Wang uh, collab that she did. Um, the first time that I checked her out was on Mirror Mirror. Insane talent. Thailand has got some insane talent and I'm only just starting to dig. So without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, more suggestions down below. If you're watching this on the premiere, hit the live chat button. Come and talk to your boy and let's go. <clears throat> this is two years ago as well, so Millie would have been like 15, 16. What I will say is that she comes on every single track so unorthodox. Like the beats that she that she's given or that she chooses are already weird enough as it is. But what she manages to do with them is then weird on top of that. It fits. It's just like it's it's not something that you hear, you know? Whatever she just said, <laughs> that sounded sick. She hit that hay like an actual, like, I don't know, like Whitney Houston or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Of all the of all the, the Thai rappers that I've heard so far, hers is like the most I don't know, syllabic. It just sounds so like it's the delivery in it, you know? A Thai Northeastern dialect. So she's speaking like more than one dialect in this song. Crazy. The the flow's insane on this one too. I'm sorry, that just sounds sick. It's like some of the words are being made by the th some of the sounds, sorry, for the words are being made by the throat instead of like I mean they're all being made by the throat, but I mean like the it's like a it's like a humming noise rather than an actual I don't know, it might be like a like a sound that that in the West or in the UK we don't use in our work. I don't know. I don't know. But this sounds fire. <laughs> Thai LGBT slang. Who even knew there was such a thing? So that's another dialect, technically. Is it? I don't know. My beauty, I can't even explain. Mad. And she said mirror, mirror, which is obviously... Uh, this, was, this was made before mirror, mirror. So she obviously took a concept within an already existing song to create Mirror Mirror with F Hero and Changbin. Mad. And if you are wondering, yes, that is Changbin. Mm. East Bro. 
She said, um, like my like my skin's made of gold or something like that, and then she said, but yours is too. So she's not just bigging herself up, she's she's trying to promote confidence in other people too. You know? Sick. Let's go. And as somebody who before puberty kicked in was insane, like people didn't even want to look at me. As somebody who went through that and then had the glow up, I understand this song, you know? I get it. So that's just basically like a, a an end credits. Well, well, that was that, Millie, <clears throat> with Sapdang. Is it Sapdang? So Sudpang. Jesus Christ. I don't know Sudpang. I still don't even know what Sudpang actually means. So if you could let me know in the comments. Be greatly appreciated. Production by Spatchies. <laughs> Production insane. There were like three different flow switches in there, and then with that like drop off of the 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 electronic, and then brought in like what sounded like live percussion. Fire, and obviously promoting promoting body positivity, and promoting just self confidence. You know. She's not just bigging herself up, she's giving you the motivation to also big yourself up too, you know. My face is gold, yours is too. These are good messages from, from a young Millie, you know. It only means that with her getting such recognition from songs like this, she's going to continue making songs of this similar vein, which is, you know, promoting positivity and self-confidence, which is a lot of what I've heard from Millie so far. Well... It's been your boy, Teddy Grail Stop. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, deuces. <laughs>